guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I am back today with part three of our massive Disney Vitro color and chat. This beautiful page right here. Hopefully we only need part three and four so we're gonna have to hustle today. I'm hoping to finish Flounder and her seashell top and maybe all of the border. That's my goal. Not sure if we can do it but we're gonna try. Today we are talking about my favorite Disney characters that are not princesses and not villains. Somebody actually recommended I do a villain countdown and I think that's a great idea but I'm gonna save that for October because we have enough to cover right now so hopefully that's okay. I'm sure I can find some other Disney picture to do then. I already whipped out all of what I think I'm gonna need. I've basically been doing two shades for each color but I've picked three purples for around the border because it's so big. Um, we'll see if I use all three or not. I also decided to just whip out a new blender pencil or newer. It's been sharpened because that other one was getting tiny. And to be honest, I don't know where it went. My desk got a little out of control. So it happens. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to put my hour timer on my watch and get to it. Let's see. I'm going to do flounder first because why not so um ba -bum. one hour Here we go okay so yeah today we're talking about my favorite characters that are not princesses or villains this was probably the hardest to rank so far because i feel like there are so many good characters that once you like, I want to say the top three are for sure my top three. And then everybody else could be anywhere else. And I'm sure I missed a ton of really great characters. And I'm sure that my opinion would change a lot. Again, besides probably those top three. So, this one, I don't really want you to fight me because you're probably right. Or, again... It could change at any time. So, I do still want to know what your favorites are. Um, I think I made an okay list. It's really hard with characters, too, because there's so many. So, like, each movie, there's, like, 20 choices, and there's so many movies, and I just don't know what to do. I think I'm going to um, color him mostly with this brighter yellow. I like the brighter color better. So, for today, I decided to count down 15 different characters. I thought that was a good number for us to get through. And I also realized that a lot of the characters on my list don't talk. I thought that was kind of a weird coincidence to notice. But a lot of them don't talk. So, hmm, interesting. We're going to start right now with number 15 and i actually put max at number 15 which is the dog eric's dog from the little mermaid he is one of my non-speaking critters and i don't know what it is i always loved max i always like wanted a sheep dog i mean now as an adult i feel like they probably shed a lot and i wouldn't enjoy that but they just seem like so much fun and because of Max, I don't know if anyone else does this tradition, but every year on Thanksgiving after the Macy's Parade is the like national dog show. And I would watch that every year with my grandma. And every year I would like be rooting for the sheepdog because I loved Max so much. And we just always loved the extra fluffy dogs. And we would like call them walking, walking Ottomans essentially, which hey, that's pretty much what the dog is in Beauty and the Beast too, huh? So I really love Max. And I also like now having my own dog. It makes me laugh. Like one, that Eric is willing to die for his dog, which relatable. But two, when like Max was super scared to jump into the water. I feel like Noodles would also be very scared and be a lot of trouble for me if I was trying to save her. So... I like Max. He was probably, like, I just thought of him first. And I also um, collect Tsum Tsums or Sum Sums, however you want to say it, say it. And I have one of him, and it's super, super cute. 
which is definitely what reminded me to put him on the list. So that's that on that. And I think Shayna was saying that one of her favorites is Pua, right? Not Hey Hey. I think it was Pua. And Pua is not even in very much of the movie. I feel like Max is also not in very much of the movie. Yet I still love him. So that is number 15. I think I like my pacing of blending and not talking about the list. This is actually going pretty well. For yellow, I really don't even need to blend. I don't know what it is about yellow, but it always goes on so smoothly. You probably just can't differentiate the problems or something. Um, blending close to the line is rubbing the lines off a little bit. I don't know why this happens with some line work and not others because it's all the same page so who knows it doesn't really bother me too too much um i try to avoid it when i can Ooh, i could always whip out the um electric eraser if i needed to and give that a whirl but i don't know if that would actually make too big of a difference i'm just gonna try to be careful and avoid the lines whenever possible but I think this is going pretty well. I think he kind of looks weird, like these yellows look weird, but I think uh, the blues are gonna tie it all together, I hope. So. Surprisingly, slash spoiler alert, Flounder is not on my list. Max, is Max the only, I think Max is the only character in Little Mermaid that made it. And again, this was the hardest list so far because there are so many great characters. Like, I love King Triton. I love saying, but daddy, I love him. I say that a lot. Um, I love Sebastian. I love Ursula. Ursula actually would have been on the list, but I bumped her for that next video I was telling you about. So she would have been pretty high up there. Which I guess is kind of a spoiler for that. But by then it'll be October and there's probably going to be a bunch of new people watching anyway. I hope so. <laughs> I almost wanted to like color his eyes. Does Flounder have colored in eyes? Let me peek at my computer in front of me. Google Flounder. Little Mermaid. I'm typing with the, he has, he does have blue eyes, cool. So I'm gonna use this blue and just go around his eyeballs. Whoa, that looks really bold. I think he's actually a lighter blue, not the darker blue, uh-oh. I like the darker blue. Oh well. I thought I was prepared. Silly me. I'm gonna use this lighter blue instead and prep that up. No, in some pictures he is the darker blue. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Next, number 14 on our list is another quiet guy, and it is Dopey. So Dopey has been a favorite for a very long time. And Dopey, along with two other characters on this list, which I will tell you about when we get to them, I used to tell people that he was my boyfriend. <laughs> I had a sweatshirt with him on it, and it was like a really cool purple sweatshirt that just had his face really big in the middle. And I would wear it and be like, yeah, Dopey's my boyfriend. So this was, I think the oldest I would do this was second grade. So this was second grade and below. And I don't know why. I think, honestly, it was because of the purple shirt that I loved him. And I loved that his color, like I really, a lot of the characters that I initially like are because of their color schemes. And then once I have all these like stories that stick with me forever, they just kind of earn their spot based on that, I guess. I don't know. 
So, because again, I think when I was talking about the princesses, Snow White wasn't that high on the list. I had some good memories as a kid, but I wasn't like watching it all the time now. So I don't know why Dopey still makes it up there. He's just so cute. And I love like the scene where he keeps getting in line to get extra kisses from Snow White on his bald little head. So I wonder if he's actually younger than them or if he's just bald. It could go either way. They always treat him like he's the youngest dwarf, but I don't apparently know my Snow White dwarf lore enough. This is not a good sign, though, that my hand kind of already hurts doing this blending. So, uh-oh. We have 50 minutes left, so we'll see how well we can make it. I mean, worse comes to worse, I can always color and then not blend but then I'll have to only blend and that'll be rough. So we'll see what happens. I could always just like press lighter, but that seems like it would take even longer and be a whole thing. Where is my crazy dirty paper towel? I just love when it gets all stained like this. So I think that's really cool looking. Right? Maybe? I don't know. <sighs> Who is next? Number 13. Hold on, I need to do a side count. I guess I need to like somehow count and color at the same time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Kind of five, kind of seven characters on this list don't talk. That's weird. I don't know how this happened. Especially since I love Disney music so much. Obviously, these guys probably do not sing if they do not talk. So that's weird. Also, hold on, hold on. I just realized I don't think any of these are female characters. That's really weird. No, technically, the next one is. So number 13 is Kevin from Up. And she's a female character. I'm like, I blow, I've blown my own mind here that none of these characters are female and most of them don't talk. I don't know how that happened. I mean, I guess that's because we cut out all the princesses and that's like 15 choices right there. So this isn't as weird because at least three or four of the princesses would have made this list. So I feel a little better, but that's crazy. Let's get right to this purple. So Kevin from Up, I love Kevin because I love making the noise that Kevin makes. Like the first time we saw the movie, I'm pretty sure whoever I was with, was that with you, Sam? I think so. And I feel like you kind of like looked at me like, oh, that's your noise? Yeah, he's nodding. Um, I make that noise that he makes. I'm not gonna make it right now, but I do make that noise. So that's pretty funny. And I've always liked Kevin for that. I mean, she's a bird, and I am not a fan of that. But I don't know if she flies, does she? I guess kind of. I seem to not mind birds that don't fly. And also, I don't want to meet her. But I don't mind necessarily, like, seeing a cartoon of birds. It depends. They're not realistic birds. I enjoy her rainbow colors. I always enjoy... I really like... Enjoy that whenever people are her for Halloween, they're always dressed in tutus. I really want a tutu, guys. I have not had an opportunity to wear one. I was going to wear a tutu for my bachelorette party, but then I did not. I went with like the black dress instead. I did all sequins, which was still fun. And then I was hoping to wear a tutu for our, my annual scrapbook expo but then we didn't end up doing it, so that was sad. But one day I would like to wear a tutu and maybe be Kevin, like for Halloween or something. I have to think of who I'm going to be for Halloween. Last year, Samuel and I were Yzma and Kronk, which was great. I made the costumes and I'm very not good at that, but it was fun to try. Um, 
yeah, so for Yzma, I didn't really have to make much. I just like had a purple dress that I wore and I wrapped a towel around, mm, not a towel, my goodness, a scarf to do like her look when she has, I guess a turban type look with the big gem on it, just because I wanted to make the headpiece, but I could not find large enough feathers to make the headpiece. And then I made for Sam, I made him, um, like I cut up two shirts and layered them over each other to get the pattern on it. And also I'm gonna blend this right now because I'm not sure what's going on. I made him like the armbands and the leg bands. And I also knit, sewed him a tiny weird hat. So that was fun. I think I did pretty good. Again, back then, I mean, I'm still very, very new to my sewing machine, but at least since then, I sewed a whole bunch of masks in the beginning of quarantine, so I've used it more. So back then, I had really not used it very much at all. So I think we did it pretty good. It was fun. I mean, we don't really, for Halloween, we always just go to my cousin's house and she has a Halloween party. We're seeing what she's gonna do this year because she still wants to have it, but obviously, I feel like October is going to get here before we know it and we don't know how safe it will be. It might end up just being like a backyard party and um, everyone wears masks. So it's usually like 10 to 15 people. So well under state limits, but obviously still want to be safe. So TBD on that. So I don't know. But all that being said is I don't know what to be for Halloween this year. We've done a lot of like the traditional couple stuff I used to like the idea of doing one year scary one year like cute seer but I never end up doing scary things because I'm scared of them so I really would want to be Donald and Daisy Duck one day might also get away with a tutu for that or a tutu with Kevin and Sam can either be Russell or um Carl I think Sam would make a funny Russell. I think he like would almost look like Russell, but just a really tall Russell. Be like adult Russell. So that's all why I said that story in the middle of this, because maybe I'll be Kevin one day and it would be a big surprise. Hey, I mean, that could be scary for me since I'm terrified of birds. So that might count as my scary year. I'm also not sure if I should count Yzma and Kronk as my scary year, because they're like villains, but who knows? Zoop. These two purples, did I not switch them? Can you not even see what I'm doing? Oh my goodness. Ugh. That's a problem with being this zoomed in. You couldn't see any of that, so I apologize. But these, I thought were two different purples on this row, but they're looking the same. So I'm gonna try one more time with the two different verbals and see what happens. And I'm also just gonna intentionally push harder. Yeah, it might be annoying that I'm zoomed in this far, but I just think it makes better sense for the time being. I asked Shayna about what she does because she uses some sort of app that like lets her see her phone on her iPad. And I think that's super cool. And I might look into that after this video but we will see again i'm gonna blend right away because they're looking the same and i don't really want that so while we're blending we can go on to our next number which is another quiet fella which is number 12 pascal from tangled pascal so cute I just really love, he's like such a great little sidekick. I love that he's always there for Rapunzel. He has a really cute backstory if you watch the animated series. Um, I just love that they like play the little hide and seek game with the paintings, stuff like that. Yeah, I think I just have to do the shading like that. All right, I'm gonna zoom down now because now we finished down there. Also, the border is going a lot quicker than I expected it to, which is really great. But then we're going to have to pick more colors, which is no problem. But I'm just, I am just wasn't ready, so we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to only use the third purple on the innermost ring of the border and then just rotate between the two 
other purples for the outer two rings. So yes, Pascal. I really like Pascal. I really like him in the show a whole lot. So again, if you have not seen the Tangled show on Disney Plus, you definitely should check it out. Um, I love, I used to love all the time all the shows they would do. Like there was uh, um, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Hercules, Lilo and Stitch. There was, I think there was like one or two more. There was an Emperor's New Groove show. And I just think it's such a fun way to like see those characters more. So now there is the Big Hero 6 show and the Rapunzel show currently on. And I highly recommend them. So if you have Disney Plus and you have time, you should check them out. Also, I really, really love the new DuckTales. So you should also check that out because well, why not? But Pascal is in the new show a lot and he gets his little backstory of how he and Rapunzel met and it's really sweet. And yeah, he's just there and he also does not talk. So weird coincidence. We're at 40 minutes left. We're doing good, I think. Yeah, because the flounder, because the flounder, flounder was a good amount of work to do. So, is this sharp? Yes, okay. Am I in screen? Yes, apparently. Can't believe that I did that. I've been trying to get better and not do that. But here we are. We managed to go swim in our little pool again. Today, it was like 91 degrees. It might end up being the last day we get to swim this season, but we will see. I love how I call it swimming, but it's really just sitting in the pool. I wish it was swimming, but it is too tiny for swimming. So, it was 91 degrees, and I think that this is the end of the like super high weather, or whenever it's a nice high temperature, it's also like, 50% or more chance of rain and even in the very high temperatures the pool gets really quick if it's not sunny out so I don't know and also like it's less fun when Sam is not home with me like it's just me sitting by myself for a few hours which is not always bad but it, I wish noodles enjoyed it more and then at least she would be with me but I'm gonna do this top area now. So we got that in. I think the weather is starting to break and it's gonna end up being closer to the low 80s than the 90s, which better overall, I'm very excited to start like walking again, but not great for backyard swimming pool. So, but for now I'm like freezing whenever I spend the day in water. It makes me really, really cold for the whole rest of the day. So I'm like shivering over here. I'm just gonna do a nice every other. Who are we up to? Number 11, finally, someone who speaks. And it is Olaf from Frozen 1 and 2. He was funny in both of them. I think I was talking about this, that when I originally saw the commercials for Frozen, before we saw the movies, I thought Olaf was going to be so annoying. We we're like, ugh, he's just going to be there for like excessive, excessive, for like little kid jokes and just be obnoxious and not be the type of humor I like. And it would have been the type of humor that would have been fun in theaters because I think hearing all the kids laugh at the little jokes in theaters is like the cutest thing ever but then once I got home and I was not surrounded by many children I would have hated him is what I thought but really he was very very funny and he was very very funny in both movies and I was surprised and I really think it's Josh Gad is very very funny and that's cool I appreciate that and I really obviously everyone loved his like retelling of the first movie and the second movie in the second movie 
And they actually put a bunch of like little shorts from him on like their Facebook page that were really cute. The Christmas special was not my favorite. It was really weird. I don't know if anyone remembers the controversy when Coco came into theaters and they played the half an hour Frozen Christmas special before that movie and people were really mad. I was not really mad. I was a little, I mean, it was a long, it was like half an hour. I'm so a little mad, but uh, I wasn't, I liked it enough. I have to watch that again. I only watched that the one time. So, but I really enjoy Olaf and we met his character in on our honeymoon and he was very funny and Sam made fun of him and then he made fun of Sam back and Sam deserved it. So that was fun. Um, cause Sam was like, I like your nose or something, or he laughed at his nose or I don't know what he did. And then Olaf, um, Sam's ears, he wears ears too. Excuse me. <coughs> See, again, I'm like, what? 30 minutes in and my throat's like, no more, you're done now. Whew. Sam made fun of his ears. I mean, Sam made fun of his nose and Sam was wearing... Sorcerer Mickey ears, which is um, the ears that the Sorcerer Mickey hat is in the middle. So Olaf made us take a picture where Sam had the ears on as if it was his nose. And it was funny. I hope that explanation makes sense. But that's what happened. And he's one of the characters that doesn't do like live signature because his hand is a stick. So they just like give you a little picture that he signed, which I had not experienced that before, but I thought that was pretty cool. Um, like Russell and Doug, we met them and they have like a stamp. So, but I don't, obviously they have at least hand shaped appendages. So, yes, that's my Olaf stories. I think that Sam's family actually doesn't like Frozen, and it's, I don't remember why, but I remember them all being upset, so that's fun. <laughs> they're not big Disney people like me. They're not not Disney people, they're just not, like, Disney people, you know what I mean? So, I wish we were all Disney people, but not everyone can be on my level. Number, what number? 10. Oh, I gotta go faster. Number 10 is Merlin, another speaking character. Merlin is from The Sword in the Stone, and he's also does in the parks. Now I'm not gonna remember. Kingdom Keys, what is it called? Do you remember, Samuel? Nope. He does not remember. He never remembers anything for me when I need him, but it's the um, game in the parks where you like go to the different spots with the cards and like defeat villains in the park and we really enjoyed playing that game both times we were there and Merlin kind of like hosts it. I'm sure Shana will let me know in the comments what I'm talking about but I really like Merlin. He's a fun guy. He's like similar to somebody else that's about to be on my list. I also think that Sword in the Stone is a frequently forgotten movie. Um Honestly, I think a lot of princess movies are frequently forgotten. So they're all pretty underrated compared to the princess movies. And I get it. Like, princess movies are easy. Uh, the franchise is real big. But there's other good ones, too. So if Sword in the Stone is your favorite, thumbs up down below in the comments. I'd be pretty surprised. But maybe. Because like I was saying last time, and I didn't mean to offend... The Oliver and Company fans out there, I just was thinking, Oliver and Company is like the first movie that came out after I was born, like literally four or five days after I was born. So I just know that exists and that's why I use that as my example. But I did not mean to offend the Oliver and Company fans. I always talk about people in relation to what movie came out right after they were born. So that's why I thought of that one. 
Yes, but that is Merlin. Okay, number nine, I actually cheated a little bit, but I think it makes sense. So for number nine, I put anger and fear. So they're kind of two different characters and also kind of not, right? They're both in Riley. I don't know. So I really enjoyed Inside Out. I really enjoy um, the whole idea of the different emotions running your body whatever and I enjoyed that each person they went in inside of had a different emotion in charge and I think that growing up anger would have been in charge of me and now fear is in charge of me so that is why I picked those two as my favorite because I could relate to both of them the most and that's not to say like I'm not a joyful or a sad person. Oh my goodness, this whole time I was not putting this thing in there. It was just under the book and I saw it peeking out that way. Whoopsie doodle, all right. Yes, so it's not to say that uh, joy and sadness are not there too and disgust, of course, but it is to say that I don't think they're in charge very often. Shall. Um, yes, I relate to them. I also, again, I really love that fear is purple. I love purple characters. Anger is red. I'm not a huge red fan, but I really love that he's like square and cute. I don't know. I have an anger mug that I can't remember what it says right now, but it's a square mug. How cool is that? So I have a lot of Disney mugs and it's funny because I don't actually drink coffee. Sometimes I drink tea. I guess very infrequently I can drink coffee. I just like don't need to drink coffee. Um, we'll see how I can get this all in frame. But yeah, but I have a lot of Disney mugs, but my dad will like refuse to use half of them. I don't think he refuses. I just think he just gravitates towards the same ones over and over again. And he will use the anger mug, but he will not use some of my other mugs. He actually, I have one that's, um, it's not Disney, but it's like, crafty pants or something and it's got like a glue gun on it and he won't use that one and I just don't know why <laughs> so I think I think he says a little miss crafty pants so I don't know but yes I love them okay next up another quiet boy is my guy Pluto so rumor has it the story goes that when I first went to Disney in as like a four-year-old little little chap um I went up to Pluto and said Plutes and like talked to him like we were best friends and that I called him Plutes and I don't remember that but I believe it because that sounds just like something I would do so I love Plutes now and I just think he's super cute and we met him again in 2018. I don't know if we met him in 2013. I'll have to go back in my records, but we definitely met him in 2018. And um, that was actually a terrible day of our honeymoon in 2018 because it was raining all day. And while I did have a second pair of sneakers to change into for the next day, also, I realized that like I might be out of frame for like one or two little segments, but I think that it's makes the most sense for me to just keep going um yeah I had a second pair of sneakers for the next day so it wasn't like I had to put sneakers that were wet back on but it was raining like right in the morning so we did wear our wet sneakers all day long and it made my feet so upset and then I like tried to fix it by like I don't know what I tried to do and then it was terrible and that was like our second day on our honeymoon and my feet hurt so bad the whole rest of the week to the point where I was like crying on the bus on the way home every night. So that was something that happened but it's not Plute's fault so I, I didn't mean to taint his name. It was really cute because he was wearing like a winter scarf and a pair of earmuffs when we met him so because it was December uh-huh next up is number seven these guys kind of talk 
It is Alien from the Toy Story series. I always loved Alien, even when I didn't love the movies because I said I went through that phase where I was like too cool for these movies. Emily knows I'm, I'm just a big old hipster, but I think aliens are super cute and I really love what they're doing right now. There's merchandise out that it's called like Alien Remix and so it's aliens, but then they're dressed up as other Pixar characters and I just like want all of the merchandise, but I might restrain myself. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but I just think they're so fun and I have some alien. I used to, in my dorm room, I had a giant poster that was like all the little alien heads if you have the pixar uh color by number book the french one it's actually the first page was the poster i had and it's just all the aliens lined up and i also have like a little alien stuffed animal i got as a gift and i have an alien lotion dispenser that i got years and years ago so i really enjoy those little guys um, again, I'm at 25 minutes. I'm going to speed up the tiniest bit with my speaking. And then I want to make sure we have time for the big guns at the top. So, but yes, aliens, good time. Love them. Want all their merchandise. Next up is number six, Genie. Now, when I was originally making this list, I wasn't sure where to put a lot of these people. Like I said, I put the top three. I had a list of about 20, 25 characters that I was thinking about including, and then I ended up cutting it to 15. Again, some of them were uh, villains that I'll save for that later video. But I originally had Genie a lot lower, but I bumped him up because I really, like, Robin Williams was amazing. And his death was probably the only celebrity death that ever really affected me and I was very very sad over it I mean obviously it's unfortunate when anyone passes away but I feel like with celebrities it's a lot of them are like either very very old so I'm hoping they lived a, a full life or they did questionable things that led to their death so I it's sad, but also meh. But Robin Williams really made me very, very sad. And he was just so good in that movie. And Genie's so great. And now, because of how he played it, all Genie representation is really great. So, um, like I was saying in the Princess episode, we saw... Aladdin on Broadway and Genie was 100% the best part of that show and the live action I don't think Will Smith was a very good Genie so a little shame there but I really loved Robin Williams a lot and I really love that character and it's so fun like not now like I'm not just realizing these things but I feel like I didn't realize them when it initially happened, how many references to other things he was making. And that's always cool to like get a whole nother layer of a character when you rewatch it. And obviously like Robin Williams voiced a few other parts of that movie, specifically the narrator in the beginning. So he was just so talented and I think he would have made a lot more cool stuff if he was still around, so I was very sad about Robin Williams, and I really love Jeannie, and bumped him up a whole bunch because of that. Ugh, my hand is dying. We're struggling real good. We have 22 minutes and 22 seconds left when I looked. Now we're down to 19 seconds. I hope my uh, camera has been focused, because when I just did this, I don't know if it just couldn't focus on the watch, but... We are too far into it to start over. I can't recolor the page. I really like how this is coming out. I really like adding the extra purple. So, where are we up to now? Number five 
is another one of my fake boyfriends from back in the day because it is another one I had a sweatshirt of and it is Tigger. I love Tigger growing up. I just wanted to bounce around and just sing his song. And for years, I would like say TTFN Tata for now as my goodbye to people. Like, remember AIM days, AOL Instant Messenger? I would always have that as my away message, which, what? Okay, whatever. But I really loved Tigger. And I just loved his energy. There's also a really great Winnie the Pooh TV show from back in the 90s, maybe the 80s, but I think the 90s, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, right? Or is that the movie? The Wonderful World of Winnie the Pooh? I don't know. There's a Winnie the Pooh TV show on Disney Plus and you should watch it and I love it. And I realized like I used to have a bunch of the episodes on VHS and I hadn't seen it in a really long time. I'm like I don't have a VHS player anymore. I wish I did because I had a lot of great VHSs, but I don't. So I um, haven't seen it in a long time. We watched it on Disney Plus and I still remembered the whole theme song and realized that I've sang that theme song over the years without really understanding where it was coming from. So like I had forgotten. It was like a suppressed memory, but I love that show too. It's super cute especially if you're a Winnie the Pooh fan. Highly recommend that one. So I love Tigger. He was another one of my boyfriends. His sweatshirt was green with his face in the middle. And once I got a nosebleed on that sweatshirt, which was unfortunate, but um, it was definitely like a series of sweatshirts from the Disney store. So I don't know, those were the two sweatshirt boyfriends that I had. And actually, when we went to Disney in 2013, I think, I keep referencing the two times that I was there because they were both wonderful. And I wish I was there right now, but I don't know if I'm going to get to go there anytime soon. I'm hoping 2022, which seemed like super far away. But in Disney planning time, it's not very far at all. So... Um, we went in 2013 and I really had the urge to tell Tigger that I used to say that he was my boyfriend and I'm not sure if the college student inside of the costume would have enjoyed that or been like, oh my goodness. So I refrained, but love him. Take another sip of water real quick. I'm finding it funny that a lot of my favorites also just are my favorites because I had merchandise with them on it. So that's cool, I guess. Merch works. So. Let's do some blending before we keep talking. Um, I've accidentally been watching some ASMR recently. I don't remember the first video that got me, but then now that I watched one, they keep recommending more and more. And some of them I've been enjoying, and that's interesting. But what I find is that the times two trick works really well for the ASMR. I cannot believe how slowly they move. <sighs> because I'm watching in times two, and I'm like, this is still too slow for me. But it's definitely better in times two. I sharpen this too much, uh-oh. Um, what have I watched? This one lady just makes cookies and it's so great. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not even, like, I don't even listen with headphones or anything. So it's, it's more background noise than normal. So she just like crinkles the package of chocolate chips and she like slowly scoops out all the flour and crinkles everything. And it's been really cool. And I'm reminded of that because there's a recommended video on my homepage right now that's somebody coloring. And I feel like I'm coloring very loudly when I blend. And maybe I'm secretly making ASMR. But I don't think I could be like, just like I think I don't, whew, just like I don't think I could talk for an hour straight. I also don't think I could be quiet for an hour straight. So I do not think I'll be making any ASMR. Unless somehow that that would be interesting to you guys, let me know. Because if you guys want to see that, that might be a fun one-time video. 
Very interesting. I actually do have a tiny microphone, but right now, one, it was lost for a long time. Story of my life. But also, it um, needs to plug into the one iPhone port. And right now, I have my phone charging while I do this because I didn't think ahead and my phone wasn't charged. So, in the future, though, I could, like, plug in my little... Um, charger thingy. Nope, my little microphone and do some ASMR. I might do that. That would be real weird, but I might do one video in September that's like ASMR. So, but feedback is appreciated, so let me know if you're like, no, I will not be watching that. I think the biggest challenge will be worrying about like noodles barking in the background, and but I'm sure I can always edit it out. Like, pause and go back or just film at night because she's sleeping right now so I love the purple I'm so happy oh, I forgot I have to do her seashells before I put the purples away Ooh, big spot also I am liking it more without the white lines so I'm a little sad I did it up at the top but it's fine I just will stop from now on. And I still am not sure what I'm going to do with the circle things. I might end up, eh, we'll see later, but I might just do the starfish and the shells just all in like a dark peach. We'll see. <laughs> Next, let's just do her seashells. And then we'll move on to... I guess her tail should we do? I don't know. Oh, I forgot what I was talking about, which is characters. Number four. Believe it or not, I also had a shirt with number four on it. And that meant a lot to me. And that might be part of the reason he's on this list. But no, this guy is a classic. He's a funny man. And I think that I hate what they've done to him now. You'll understand in one second, I am talking about Goofy. I love Goofy, I've always loved Goofy. Um, first time I went to Disney, we went to like a breakfast with the characters and Goofy came to my table and he stole my donut holes and he ate it. And I was very, very mad. I'm not sure if this is true because I can't imagine that the characters are allowed to steal your food, but this is the story that I have been telling for over two decades now, and I poof, was not pleased about that. So even after that, though, I still love Goofy. Um, Goofy Movie is one of my favorites, which you will find out in part four. Um, yeah. Goofy movie. Love it a lot. And I just, he's just so funny. All of his old cartoons are really funny. I really, he's in um, Kingdom Hearts, the video game series. And I really like him in that. Okay, let me take a green time out and figure out what colors we're doing. And then I will get back to my goofy storytelling. Maybe that one. Should we do a lighter green or a darker green? Probably the lighter green. Should we try for all three greens? It's hard because the, the spaces are getting smaller. Let me pull up a Little Mermaid picture on my computer in front of me. Oh, her tail is lighter. That makes sense. So I can do... Is there even a lighter? It's almost... I don't think it's like yellow, though, is the problem. Um... That doesn't look right. It's almost like back to being this like aqua color, but obviously the background's aqua, so I feel like that wouldn't be my best decision. I wonder if the light green and the silver? No, I hate that a lot. Um, we're just gonna go with, I'll do the no, I don't know. Oh man, see I was so prepared and now here we are. 
not ready. I'm wondering if I want to try to like go over the lines, but that terrifies me because I've never successfully done that. So I'm just gonna do the lighter green on her tail and then darker on her body. We'll just have to deal with that. So tail in frame, all right. Goofy my guy. If you've seen like the new, I guess shorts, the new Mickey shorts, they make Goofy look like like he's homeless. Like I hate to say these negative things, but he looks terrible and it makes me very upset. I don't understand. Like he's always wearing ripped clothing and they've made him like not funny stupid, just stupid. If you that makes any sense, I don't want to I don't know. Stupid is a strong word too, but they ruined him and I'm very upset about it. I love Goofy so much and I don't know why they did this to him. But I don't really enjoy the art style of the newest iteration of Mickey much at all. They like it's not my favorite, but especially how they've treated my boy Goofy. So I'm just coloring very lightly and then I'm going to blend out even more just to get the tail and her like the belt area to look lighter than the rest of it and then I will also use the darker color on the bulk of the tail so but yeah I really like Goofy um, my mom had a Goofy shirt that it was him doing a handstand and you could just it was like a black shirt and then he was doing a handstand and you could only see his hands, his head, and his um, pants. So he was like camouflaged, I guess. I also, back in the 90s, had a hat, a goofy hat, and it was as if it was like the top of his head. So his like ears and then his nose and his hat. I don't know how to explain it, but it was a really cool hat. I'm gonna have to see if I can like find a picture of that hat. But I enjoyed that a lot. So, I love the Goofy movie so much. We're under 10 minutes. I gotta go. Number three is Wally. If you just saw part two of this series, you will have known that Wally is officially my number one favorite Pixar movie thus far. I love it so much. I just love that little guy. He's so, so cute. He's such a sweet little guy. And I just love Wally. I I don't know. I don't know. I love him a lot. That's really the answer. I also love all the little shorts that they've done with him. And they're super, super small. They did even, I think it was like promo for the movie when it was coming out. So they would do like a little short where they give him one of those paddle balls. So it's like the ball on a string on this paddle and you just hit it. And they would give him that. And it was just, they're so funny. And it's such a good movie so I love Wally a lot of people I think Wally is where I lose the most people where they don't understand it because I've had people very angrily tell me how how could I like Wally and it's like the worst movie but I'm gonna be a Wally fan forever so sorry not sorry but since we just talked about Wally in part two I'm gonna just quickly finish up with him and move on to the to the two number ones, starting with the number two, which is Winnie the Pooh. Man, I sometimes forget that Winnie the Pooh is Disney because he's like his own thing in my mind. And he's so awesome and important that I do not remember. But no, he is in fact Disney. And I just love him so much too. I really love like stuffed animal bears. Like, I have two very important stuffed animal bears in my life. And uh, <laughs> I love that he's a little stuffed animal bear. I really want a stuffed Pooh Bear soon. I have the Sum Sum. And do I have another Pooh Bear? I'm trying to like look at my shelf behind me. Um, I love it so much. I love all of his stuff. I love the... Uh, Winnie the Pooh and Christmas too. Very Merry Pooh Year. I forget they changed the name of it at one point because it was um, 
just the Christmas special, but now if you buy it, it's the Christmas special and the New Year's special. So I really love that. I love both of his movies, one more than the other, but uh, both still very good, and he's just so sweet. He loves balloons. I love balloons. I always want, like in my mind growing up, honey was actually just like melted cheese. Like I didn't understand what honey really was because it always was like that gloppy yellow stuff in his movie. So that's fun. But I didn't know what honey was for a really long time. Hmm, for whatever reason, this is not blending that green. Look at that, can you see that? You can basically see every single line. But it's okay. It's not too big a deal. Um, yeah, I'm just a big Winnie the Pooh fan. I read or actually listened to on Scribd, which I always link down below, the audiobook for the books series. And I listened to, I have it, um, a nice copy of it. It's a beautiful yellow book that I got. It's a Barnes & Noble edition, and it's really pretty, and I really like it. And I feel like it would be a run, or a high contender for theme if I ever need a nursery. There's a lot of nursery Pooh Bear stuff, which I like, too. So, Pooh Bear, number two. Now, I don't think anyone could guess number one. I mean, I guess I've talked about this movie a little bit. So maybe it will not be a surprise, but it's not a princess movie. And it's a relatively recent movie. Number one favorite character that is not a princess or a villain is Baymax <laughs> from Big Hero 6. Man, I love Baymax. Ah, I think I have a type. Like, I feel like all of these are cute little fat guys that don't talk very much and just are cute. I don't know. <laughs> um, Baymax is so great. My favorite Baymax quote is, I am not fast. I relate to that. I am also not fast. I just, he's so great. His TV show is so great. We met him too. So great. That was another long line. Ugh. But worth it. I got to fist bump and do the ba la la la. So I really, really love Baymax. I hope this was not anticlimactic for anybody. But I love Baymax. Ah! Um, yeah, he's relatively new compared to some of them. Obviously, like Dopey was an OG and Baymax is like a 2010s kind of guy. Um, originally I didn't want to see that movie. I don't remember why. Again, for whatever reason, I have an aversion to not princess movies sometimes, but I really like that movie and I really like, I honestly, I almost like the show more than the movie for that one. So like, I really recommend if you liked Baymax or that show at all, I mean that movie at all, to watch the show because it is really fun and you definitely get a lot more from those characters, which is great. I really also like Honey Lemon, but not not top 15 like her, but that's she makes that movie pretty great. But yes, Baymax is my number one. Are you surprised? Let me know. I have just under three minutes left. I'm gonna finish blending this and blend her little belt area and then be done for today. I think we made pretty good progress. We just have the rest of her tail, obviously, and her hair, and you can see all this. I don't know why I'm telling you, and these weird shell things that I'm not sure what to do with. I will definitely think about it before the next video. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this little series. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do a four-part video or a four part page going forward, but I definitely wanted to try it once and obviously any opportunity to talk about Disney for actual four hours and I will take it. So after this, I don't know if you're ever gonna want more Disney content from me, but hopefully by October you will when I get to do the villains, but that should be a fun one too. I'll have to figure out what to color while we discuss that. 
Um, after this, I'm going to like rest my my wrist for a long time because ouchie walla, it's hurting. I'm gonna have to just like paint for two days instead of use pencils for sure. I'm wondering, so like we all have this bump, but does anybody have a bump on your pinky with me? I think I'm getting a pinky bump from resting my hand on the paper. So that's fun. Not really, not the most looking forward to that. I have to investigate that. Let me know if you have a pinky bump also. That feels newer for me. So with this new blender, I feel like I had to sharpen a lot less, which that's interesting. I definitely did still sharpen, but it didn't feel like as much. So hmm. interesting, very interesting. I think actually today I just sharpened to a, a larger point every time instead of turning twice and then being done. So yes, I think that's it for today. I'm really liking it. Let's see if I can like zoom out a little bit more. You're just gonna see, nope. Zoop. That's pretty good. Wow, what do you think? Are you liking it too? I'm really liking it. Beautiful. This book is so cool. I like this book a lot. I'm trying, I've linked below the US link to it. Hopefully that works. Um, the price changes all the time. It really depends on like who's selling it. Sometimes like one store will get it in the US. I can't really control that or really tell you oh timer is up but I'm gonna try to link that I always recommend when you're looking for these French books to check all the Amazons I recommend US UK and um, France and just type in Disney vitro which I'll show you the cover again let's close this up and it should pop up and then I would compare if you can for the best shipping prices um, I, yeah, this book's amazing, so I definitely recommend it if you can get your hands on it. Um, uh, but if you can, and my link below works, that would be super awesome too. Um, what else? If you made it all the way to the end, let's say Cheshire Cat. That'll trick people into thinking he was on my list, and he was not. So, um, thank you so, so much for watching part three one part to go and it will be my top 15-ish favorite Disney animated movies. Um, I think a lot of you can figure out a few of them based on all the information we've gathered so far. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the Pixar ones within the Disney ones or not. I'm still deciding. Let me know what you think I should do down below if you care either way. Thank you so much for watching again. Comment, subscribe, like, thumbs up, uh, bell notifications, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in two days. Bye!